Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Cabin by the Lake. It is the morning of day 7. I've got a couple of skill points to spend this morning and I'm going to use them to get strength up to level 6. I put a hatch in this doorway here just in case and I finished sealing up this wall right here. I also did a little bit of work to the base. As you can see, I made it a bit more of a cage and went up one more block. So we're three high. And I put these blocks here uh, just as a way to kind of escape from this area for a moment if I need to. We can also throw Molotovs from here. And I put these bars running across so the zombies can't make this jump. That should keep them from trying that. Otherwise, I was afraid that... You know, they would try and make that jump, but now with those bars there, they shouldn't be able to. And that's it. So, we'll give this a try tonight and see if it does better than uh, last night. Okay, first thing we are doing is the neighbor's house. This job for Trader Joel. And we are also on the hunt for mechanical parts. Here's a shopping cart. Let's get some right now. This is the reason why I couldn't craft a workbench last night. I need 20 mechanical parts. I only have about three. Oh, hey, little guy. Get a little meat now, too. Wrong place, wrong time, rabbit. Let's take the truck apart, too. Then we'll fire up the job, and the truck and the shopping cart will respawn, and then we'll take them apart again. And that should almost get us the mechanical parts we're going to need. Sixteen mechanical parts plus our three at home gives us nineteen. We only need one more. We pretty much we're pretty much there already. And that's uh, only seven in the morning. I'm gonna grab some more plastic parts from these wheels because I basically used all of mine making those dew collectors. Come on, zombie, I know you're in here. Yep, there now? No? Whatever. And the sewing kit, more plastic parts. Uh, you might as well take the corn seed also. There's the zombie. Hiding in the corner. Uh, I don't want this sandwich. It can go in there. Uh, trap books, some robotic parts, and a couple of electrical crafting books. There's something up here. Backpack. Son of a bitch. A oh, better helmet and some aloe cream. Now we got more than enough mechanical parts, but doesn't mean we have to stop collecting them, you know? Because once we uh, craft the workbench, I don't want to be left with zero. We're going to need more of those. And some food and a zombie. I'll eat some ravioli. Morning, lady. Yeah, I love the ragdoll mechanic with the club. That's uh, a lot of fun. Some food in 762. Cloth and uh, military armor parts. More cloth. Oh, yeah, this is the plant POI. Let's go back and grab them all. You don't get much clay from scrapping them, but it's better than nothing. And you probably get even more clay from them if you put them into the forge and smelt them down. But ask me if I care. No, seriously, ask me. Just say, do you care? No! Last time there was a safe right here. Not this time. A little more clay. All right, let's head up. Zombies in the bathroom. Come on out. Lay down. Bitches. A little more leather. A little bit of iron. We can get a mechanical part from this. That's clear. There are the supplies, though. 
They stuck behind the door. Well, Skinny Pete was stuck behind the door. Level four, scrap gloves. What are we wearing? Level two, all right, let's take the mod out. Put it in the level four. Repair it. Let's repair that one as well, because we're gonna sell the level two. Brass and a bone. Take the TV apart for more plastic parts. And let's get it. All right, we're going to need more duct tape, so let's get that crafting. And then we need mechanical parts, nails, wood, forged iron. I've got more nails and forged iron in the forge. That should be everything we need. Bam! Six minutes. Well, I'm not hanging around for six minutes, so... We'll just have to have a workbench in our inventory while we're out and about. Here you go, friend. Crafting Here skill bundle, go. hammer, mining book, nine millimeter, hundred rounds. I'm gonna have to go with that. If it wasn't a horde every night series, I'd go with the skill magazine bundle, but it is horde every night, so give me the ammo. Okay, what do we got here? More ammo? Uh, gunpowder, yep. Take that. 762. Skip on the magnum ammo for now. Usually it's a while before we get a magnum. I'll take all of those. And, uh, I mean, I guess that's it. We only have 665 coin left, so we'll just hold on to that. Thanks for Let's do another here. job, Come though. Uh, fetch to the northeast. I'll do that. You the man. Let's read these books. And no mixer yet. Here we are. Oh, the Hunink residence. That's where the Fump... That's the Fump Imps. That's their last name. This must be their house. Well, they're getting robbed. Oh, shit. I saw... Oh, that was a bird? I thought uh, that zombie was, was closer. I thought that was a zombie. It was a shadow of a bird, is what I saw. Oh, it's hard to explain that. Still up there. All right, well, let's double loot the van and the mailbox, and we'll get to it. Hunter book. Oh, steel arrows and bolts. That's a nice one to find early on. Come on, fellas. Looks like they got a little bit of a gas leak here. There you go. I fixed it for them. Another sewing kit. Nothing up there. All right. Let's move on then. That was a big ass TV. Let's get some more plastic. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Let's use the axe this time. There's the supplies. Bam! Job's done. Let's finish looting this place, though. Oh! Shit. Guy came out of the hallway. Guess I should check my corners, right? Something that you guys have been telling me to do for, I don't know, six years now? 
Cue the I hate to be that guy comment. I hate to be that guy, but you're an idiot. <laughs> People love to say I hate to be that guy because they think it takes away the douchiness from the douchey thing they're about to say. You know, it's always I hate to be that guy, but and then they say some Mr. Know-it-all shit right after that. It's like, just say the shit and own it. Don't fucking use I hate to be that guy as a cop out. Like they're mad at themselves for saying what they're about to say. Oh, I really hate to do this, but you're 100% wrong about everything you said and here's why. <laughs> they don't hate to be that guy at all. In fact, they love to be that guy. If they didn't, then they would say, I hate to be that guy, and then they'd shut the fuck up after that. But that never happens, does it? They never just shut the fuck up. It's always, I hate to be that guy, but then they proceed to be that guy. Well, this is definitely the way to go, then. We got some fire up here, and a zombie. No shit. Stop. Big Mama, stop coming towards me. Fall down. Thank you. Fall down again. Nah, eh, screw this shit. Big Mama's backing me up into the fire. Okay. How do we turn this off now? Did I miss something downstairs? Oh, is this it? No, oh, that was easy. Acid, pipes, and lead. I'll leave the jeans behind. Murky water. And let's just get it over with here. Oh, shit. Biker! Ow! You know, I had this feeling that I should jump down the hole with my gun out instead of my club out. Always follow your feelings. Alright, we're good. Let's pop this open. Let's grab the loot. Get the hell out of here. Fireman's Almanac. Ooh, Molotovs burn 10% longer. That's good. Oh, I totally missed the garage back here. Let's check it out real quick. Workbench. Can I get another workstation book? Nope. Something up there. Bag. All right. Let's go. Whoop. Vehicle book. Uh, Molotovs. I mean, level three fire axe is not bad, but we got to go Molotovs. They burn longer now, so they're even better. Let's take a job for tomorrow. Uh, night only jobs are a no go and hoard every night. Hey, is it buried supplies? You know what? We could probably pull this off right now. Let's do it. And we'll get back here and take. Another job for tomorrow. He's got to clear zombies. Alright, it's going to be a little bit of a rush, but we can pull it off. Well, this is a tier 2 buried supplies, so every time we get closer to the treasure, we're going to get uh, a couple zombies. I got two skill points to spend now. I'm going to go into strength again, get that to level seven. And now the next time we level up, we can go Pummel Pete again. Uh, no stamina at all. I, for I always forget that... You use stamina when aiming down the sights of a weapon. Oh, shit. Fucking bird. 
<laughs> Big boy, you're not a part of this. You son of a bitch. Oh boy, we are <laughs> we are getting dangerously close to running out of time. I want to get uh, the feathers and the rotten flesh out of this bird, though. Big boy, seriously, dude. There we go. You want some more? There you go. We gotta get back to Joel's before he closes. Come gratitude. Uh, AP 9mm. I will take it. Jobs. Clear zombies. See you tomorrow, Joel. This fucking bird. Unbelievable. Get out of here. Alright, give me your feathers. I didn't even have time to put the workbench down. We will get that done when the horde is over. Oh, look, I can reach the furthest hatch if I duck down. Bam. So when they're about to break that, I'll pop up the second hatch. Okay, here we go. Night seven. I'm going to try and hold them at the door for as long as I can because we know this setup basically works, but this is how we're going to have to do it moving forward as the hordes get bigger. We want to hold them at the door, get as many kills as we can while they're there, but then when they break in, this is the setup we're working with. Get some fire on them. It's interesting that when I step away from this immediate area right here, like I just did, they walk away from the front door. It's like once I'm not here in front of them, they, they disperse. Could kind of use that to our advantage if we want. I mean, at this point, it's night seven. Not a big deal, but as the hordes get bigger, be something to think about, especially when cops and demolishers are involved. Now, I was thinking about cops, right? Because if cops come in and we drop them down in the pit, they're going to puke up at us, at least until I can get the pit really deep. Uh, that's what we're going to have to deal with. Now, the puke does not go through the scaffolding bars that I'm standing on, but it will do damage to those bars. So, you know, I think as we, if we drop some cops down in the pit and they can puke at us, then we just need to focus some firepower on them until they're dead. But that could be hard to do when there's a ton of zombies in front of you. However, another thing, once I open the door, the zombies run away. So if we have to deal with cops in the pit, we can open the door, let the zombies beat on the wall for a little bit as we deal with the cops, and then close the door, bring the zombies back in. And shit, I did not have time to pop up that other hatch. Uh, I can do that now. Close that. Okay. We're good. See, so this whole base is just one big giant scramble, and I am completely fine with that. People ask me a lot, of, a lot like, how are you not bored of this game yet? First of all, it's the greatest fucking survival game there is because everything in the game can be destroyed. There's no other game like this. There is none. You could say Minecraft, but <laughs> Minecraft isn't even close. Minecraft doesn't have like cities that you and buildings you can go in and explore. Like, I mean, I guess it does if you play like a modded world. You can build anything in Minecraft. I'm not, I'm not shitting on Minecraft. It's a great fucking game for kids, I guess. But there is no other game like Seven Days. There isn't. You can't compare it to any other survival game. You can't go, oh, this game's just like Seven Days. Oh, it is? Can you destroy every single thing in the world, including the ground you're standing on? Oh, you can't? Well, then it's nothing like it. That, to me, is the biggest selling point in this game. With all that said, that's one reason why I don't get bored of it, because the creative possibilities are endless. And another reason is because I do dumb shit like this to keep me on my toes. And there goes the animation for the pistol reload. That happens sometimes with the pistol and the shotgun. Alright. So far, so good. There's another skill point. 
Let's spend it now. We'll put it into Pummel Pete. So when they break through that hatch and we go to melee, we can hit a little harder. Maxing out Pummel Pete early is really going to pay off once we get uh, a decent club, you know? Get in the pit. Get in there. Let's go. Nope. This way. All right. Get in the pit. See ya. <laughs> this is so fucking cool. We got a bird. I hope it's not destroying my shit up on the roof. Oh, no. I didn't even think about that. That's not good. Hopefully, it's just one bird up there. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna have to build some sort of bird cage or something on the roof to protect our farm and the dew collectors. If my dew collectors get destroyed tonight, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. Let's uh, bring this hatch back to life. And let's get to killing these zombies down in the pit. Where are the rest? This can't be the whole horde. There's more out there. Oh, here they come. Ow, bitch. Get in the pit. Close that. Come on. This way. Nice. Oh, uh, now we're getting a group. All right. In the pit with all of you. That's awesome. Okay. Fog off, Kenny. In the pit, Skinny Pete. Get in there. Yeah, I was thinking about powered doors. That maybe we could hook this door up to um, some sort of button or switch. Once we get a generator or a battery bank, but... They, they don't really come to the this area unless I'm standing right here. So I gotta be standing here anyway. So what's the difference if I hit a switch or just open the door myself? I mean, I guess a switch would be better because if there's a lot of zombies, sometimes it's hard to um, find that like little hitbox that allows me to open the door. Whereas like a, I could put the switch like next to me or whatever. It could be easily turned on and off. So we'll see. We'll think about it once we get power. Definitely want to add traps to the base. That is uh, for sure. Ow! Get down there, you fucks. Where are you going, you son of a bitch? Get back here. Hey! Come on, get back here! I'm like, fuck, I've turned in. This base has turned me into the old guy from Stand By Me that runs the junkyard. Come here, you piece of shit. Get in the pit. Bye bye. All right, let's get to killing them down there. No shit. Fuck off in the pit, lady. And you know, another reason why I'm doing this ridiculous shit that I'm not sure if it'll work. Glory, baby. That's what it's all about. Pulling it off and going, hell yeah, I did that shit. I mean, I might not pull it off. That's the risk we're taking. But I would rather take the risk for glory than build a fortress. There's no glory in holding down a fortress or building fucking same type of base I've done before that I know will work. I think we're done. Except for that damn bird. Why are my bounds on? For the land claim block. Bitch! Well, he's too far. I'm not going to harvest that. Uh, I don't know why the bounds are on. Oop! Well, while we're down here. Lost the block over here. No big deal. We'll just fill it in. 
The blocks that look like stone, those are actually concrete, so if any of those have taken damage, I cannot repair them yet. All right, let's get the workbench put down now. Uh, oh, it's in my inventory. Bam, there we go. Plant fiber, gunpowder, and pipes. I know I got some plant fiber in here. There we go. And pipes. And my gunpowder is in here. I gotta get more storage down and get organized. Let's do 40. That'll be good. All right, well, I think we had a pretty good night tonight. We gotta harvest some more wood tomorrow. Uh, because I think I would like to go back to lining this place with spikes just to keep the zombies coming through the front door. And not fucking with the walls. And then, of course, you know, the biggest thing we got to do is uh, get a mixer so we can start upgrading this place to concrete. I need to get on the rooftop and check all my shit. And regardless whether it's taking damage or not, build some sort of cage around my stuff up there so it doesn't get destroyed by birds. We'll probably do that at the beginning of the next episode. Uh, with the remaining time I have tonight, I'll probably just go around and repair any blocks that have taken damage. And we will pick things up here on the morning of day eight. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Cabin by the Lake, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.